Why did China not become Catholic? It is a question that must be asked because one must understand what happened. The Jesuits arrived in China and said to themselves that to proclaim the gospel to these people, these people subject to Confucianism. That means a wisdom where one obeys their leaders, one submits to their will, that it was necessary to announce the gospel first to the emperor and his court and they did so by interesting them in the science and techniques brought by the west and it was fantastic because the emperors were so passionate about it but there was a problem namely in this new religion brought by the jesuits which was very beautiful would to worship of the ancients be preserved for the jesuits intelligent men who know how to evangelize little by little certain things which may have remnants of paganism the worship of the ancients was not a problem since there is in the catholic church the prayer for the souls in purgatory and worship for the saints in heaven not to mention prayer for those who are dying so really there was no opposition only another dominican religious order decided to denounce in rome certain practices of the jesuits as also the fact that they dressed as mandarins and not keeping their costumes their cassocks of priests. There was an investigation at the Vatican following this denunciation and the Jesuits were disowned so much so that the furious emperor of China drove all these Christians out of his empire and the empire did not become a Christian empire. We can say to ourselves but what a terrible failure there are currently 1 billion 200 millions Catholic men and therefore the much greater salvation brought to the world this is a short-term vision of man. Certainly, there was a fault on the part of pastoral care in the Catholic Church, but this fault would not have happened if God had not allowed it. And we see in the Acts of the Apostles at a given moment a similar thing when St. Paul wants to evangelize Asia. The Holy Spirit prevents it. The deep reason we will see it in heaven, but we can guess it right now. God, when he prevents his gospel from conquering a people, it is for the salvation of the greatest number. Because in any case, we must hold it. Every man will be offered the salvation of God by a means known to God affirms to the Vatican Council to Godium Espes 22 5 and it most likely happens at the hour of death when Christ appears to everyone however if God does not want certain entire regions to become Catholic temporarily it is because he knows that if his holy religion becomes too powerful on earth, it becomes proud it is the syndrome of the babel tower so as long as we are on earth, he will not allow there to be only one religion or if he allows it it won't be the religion of christ it will be that of the antichrist says a prophecy the antichrist who will establish his plan for the whole world which will in fact be that a man standing without god he god will prefer to proceed in the following way the church will become very small all humble with few people but who will pray in such a humble way that at a given moment Christ will no longer be able to resist. He will return in his glory to the time of the Antichrist and he will establish in an instant by the breath of his coming his kingdom before taking man into eternity. That said, the Pope St. John Paul II announced that the third millennium would be that of the evangelization of China. And I think that we can take this as a prophecy.